Tackling dilemmas facing humanity. That's a key theme in this gathering as NIMS alongside its global allies seek to find solutions as the world is grappling with myriad of challenges. This coincided with a raging war in the Middle East between Israel and Palestine. For many years now that the people of Palestine have been under siege and we have seen now that in as much as nobody is expected to approve what would have happened with Hamas on Saturday, but the, 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 the overly reaction of Israel bombing and um, uh, basically killing children, women and everybody else who are helpless is completely unacceptable. Palestinian struggle activist Laila Khalid says they will not give up on their quest for self-determination. We are fight defending ourselves, but this time Israel is attacking in a very uh, cruel way because they are attacking civilians as usual, but this time it's much more they are trying to uh, any, uh, to end Gaza as a people, as a land, the children, the women, everybody, they are demolishing our houses there with people in it. The significance is that all good, true, decent people of this earth of ours must stand solidly with the people of Gaza, the people of Palestine, against the most atrocious crime being committed by the Zionist Israeli neo-fascist government and a concentration camp which has beleaguered for over 16 years, Gaza, is about to be turned into an extermination camp. So the people of the world, the people of South Africa everywhere and of the Mother Earth must fill the streets with a clear-cut demand. No passeran. Stop this. International Relations and Cooperation Minister Dr. Naledi Panda says the African Union's decision to grant Israel observer status within the continental body must be revisited. Imagine my horror. I decided at that moment that I would raise my arm and would propose that this decision be rescinded. I walked around the room seeking supporters. Of the 54 nations, I got three. And I include SADC in that. But I said, nevertheless, this is not going to happen. I therefore lifted my arm and said I wish to table a matter. I have learned of this and as South Africa we object to it and it must not be implemented. We want our leaders to discuss it and we, we will never accept it as South Africa and while we appreciate the role that the Organization of African Unity played in us achieving our freedom as South Africa. This decision of the AU Commission chairperson will make us consider whether we can be present in the African Union. I thought I would get support from many of the countries gathered in the room. But what I discovered is that countries that are oppressors, that continue to be colonial occupiers, are using financial muscle to provide grant in aid to African countries and secure the depoliticized support of African countries for these oppressive nations. Activists say the world must not turn a blind eye on the current situation in the Middle East. October 7th will never leave my mind. They are courageously fighting and resisting the savagery of the Israeli apartheid state and U.S. imperialism. What we saw Saturday, October 7th, was the bravery of a people who have enough. They've had enough. They are fed up, and we should be too. 
People who are ready to be free, who have been ready to be free for a long time. The five-day gathering will further look at other critical challenges facing the globe. Kylie Kumalo, SABC News, Johannesburg.